Hello and welcome to this updated video guide for completing the vault in Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers. My name is Dears Dears and in this video you'll learn everything you need to know to get a shield. A normal run takes between 15 to 20 minutes to complete so let's take a look. Now straight off the bat the first thing to mention here is never go in front of the tank. There are a lot of large trash groups in this dungeon and they'll all aggro the first person to reach certain points. So stay at the back and get your AoEs out. This dungeon is quite linear so before long you'll find the first boss. The first boss, Sir Adelfell, sits with three adds on the pool. Kill the adds and then work on the boss. When he gets low enough he'll digivolve into ultimate and gain new abilities. The first is Holy Shield Bash. Here, one player will get this green icon above their heads. Shortly afterwards, the boss will jump over and smack you about a bit. Healers should expect some high damage on this player. Adelfell will also zoom around the room dropping bright spheres. He'll do this a number of times. Once he's nearly finished, a random player will get this white target marker on them. The bright spheres will then explode in the order they appeared, AoEing around them. Then the boss will jump down on the targeted player dealing damage to everyone nearby. If you get targeted, stay away from your party. He'll AoE the group now and then too, but that's not so much to worry about. With him dealt with, push on up the stairs, tank first, and make your way forwards. Do note at the end of this section, the two statues on either side of the door will come alive, so keep an eye out. Head through the door and deal with more of the same. The chess piece trash here can do long AoEs, so just face them away and you'll find the second boss. The second boss, He-Man, is really pissed off. After he digivolves, he'll target random players with large line AoEs. These attacks will place purple void zones at the edges of the room. Standing near one will link you to it and you'll start getting twatted with vulnerability stacks, so keep away. During the fight, Grano will cast Faith Unmoving, which will knock everyone backwards. Just make sure you position yourself to avoid flying into a void zone. Lastly, watch out for the oddly patterned dark red AoEs he chucks out as well. These can come in a few different layouts, so keep on your toes. With Grano down, push on and you'll eventually find yourself outside. Immediately to the left will be a treasure chest that's usually quite good for loot. Head to the right and you'll find a small room with a Vault Priest inside. This chump will cast a spell to bring the four statues in the room to life. Give the tank a second to pick these up and AoE them down. Just watch out for their own AoEs. Past this will be the final boss line. The final boss, Sir... This dude is actually a really fun fight, assuming people do the mechanics. He'll start by putting huge AoEs under everyone, so get ready to move. He can also cast Autopire occasionally to AoE the group. In addition, the boss can cast Holy Chain, linking two players. The linked players need to run away from each other until it breaks, or they take big blasts to the face. Lastly, rows of chest knights will spawn at the back of the room. These will stop forward hitting anyone in the way. Just look for the gaps in their line to avoid them. At 60%, the boss will teleport to the middle, become invulnerable, summon two chest knights, and spawn a bunch of holy flames around the room. At this point, you'll need to kill all of the Holy Flames before the boss attacks, trying to wipe you. It's not that hard to kill them all, but get a move on. During this time, the untargetable Chest Knights will throw line AoEs at random players, so avoid them as you can. After he blasts you, the fight continues as before, but a lot of his abilities will overlap. Now, you'll probably either find this part very fun, or you'll hate it, especially if you're healing and your group are ignoring mechanics. Pop a limit break when it's ready, and he'll go down. And that's the vault. If you've enjoyed the guide, then let me know. And if there are any other guides or perspectives you'd like to see, then check out my channel, or feel free to ask me to create one. Thank you for watching, and good luck. I'll cut you to pieces! I will not yield to you! I have the power! Be done with you! And now the final cut! Sickness must be purged! This shall be a mercy! You disgust me! <laughs>